All right, so in this example on this first one, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing we want to do is make sure that um, if you guys remember our conversion, we know that y equals r sine of theta. Yes? You guys remember we've talked about this? r equals y sine of theta, Carly, and x equals r cosine of theta. So right now, if I want to write this in rectangular form, that means I basically want to write this in terms of x and y's. No r's, no thetas. So I basically need to multiply r times sine of theta, right? And that would give me my y. Would you guys agree with that? Well, you just can't multiply an r on one side. You have to, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So I multiply an r on both sides. And what I obtain is r squared equals negative 3r sine of theta. Cool. That equals x, right? What else does r squared equal? If you guys remember, r squared equals, does anybody remember? Huh? X squared. x squared plus y squared. Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus y squared equals negative 3. That's equal to y. Done. There is more things we could do, but for this class and where we're currently standing, I will accept that as your answer. OK?